relatively an early one today. Our last and final day of track prep for the FK8 is finally here. Down to the wire, it's game time. Let's get her done. We have two major projects to take care of today. So if you guys have been keeping up with the entire prep series of the FK, how much work we've put in to get this thing ready for Laguna Seca. Now, like I said, today we have two major projects. Number one being going to WR Technica to get this thing aligned. Ever since we started driving, WR Technica has been there to set up our cars, do our quarter balances, alignments, pretty much everything, and even help teach me drive a little bit. That is who we trust doing all of our suspension setup and alignments, all that good stuff. We do have all the adjustable uh, suspension in the rear, so they'll be able to set that up nicely uh, to my specifications, and also they, they kind of know what I need, so we'll let them make the decision on adjustability. But also, while we're there, I think we can probably check out some of their Porsche Cup cars, which is gonna be really, really sick. But while WR Technica is setting this car up, Tim and I are gonna actually leave and head over to our friends over at, at Battle Arrow. Battle Arrow is actually who has our new front arrow package, and I'm really excited to show you guys all of that. They actually make everything in-house. You guys will see when we actually get to Battle Arrow, but this will be a very, very nice front arrow package for the car and something that we really need. So we're taking care of two big items today. We are very close to WR Technica, so let's go ahead and get there and we'll check out some of their cars if they have it and talk about some suspension adjusting. FK8 has made it. And uh, this is WR Technica. We're gonna leave the keys here. It's a little early, so no one's quite here yet. They're getting the shop opened up, but this place is literally race car heaven. Hopefully when we come pick the car up later on, I'll show you guys inside the shop. But as you can see, they have everything from vintage Porsches to cup cars to CTSVs. It's pretty damn ridiculous. A Senna, I think? Wow, okay. They have lots of cool stuff in the Ferrari Challenge, which is Literally insane. So we'll give you guys a little walk around once we get back, but we have to run to Battle Arrow and go get our front arrow package. We're gonna leave the FK for a bit. Let's head to Battle Arrow. We got Timbro in the truck. Oh, let's go get our new front splitter, man. This is where the magic happens. Whoa, that's sick, dude. That's cool. Dang. That's so rad, dude. Goes right here. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Well, say hello to the new Battle Arrow splitter, guys. This looks so cool. We were able to catch him still cutting the splitter out, and this is actually a new feature, right, for yeah. your diffusers. It's so, an optional part. So if you want some added downforce, probably even helps a little bit of cooling near the brakes, right? Yeah. I could say if you guys want a little bit of extra downforce and stuff, uh, this is an optional piece for the FK uh, diffusers now, which is really rad. But this is uh, freshly cut. We're gonna let him finish this thing up, and splitter will be ready. First well, one to have a production part. That's so Perfect rad, man. Yeah. So you do everything in-house, right? We, we do all the development in-house and then uh, we have local manufacturers make all our parts here in that's America. That's super sick, yeah. dude. I'm so excited to run this thing. And we're asking that's gonna be durable and up to the beating that's gonna happen. <laughs> so we have the diffusers as well as the little carbon end pieces as well. Um, they can do an optional carbon overlay on the diffusers or the splitters, but for today's purposes, we are just getting this thing done and out of here. Cause like I said, we're on crunch time. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, has like a really cool overlay as well. This thing is gonna be robust, sturdy, and this is gonna give us a ton of downforce. This is gonna be sick. I'm stoked on the new ducting. We're gonna be the first ones to test this out, and I'm sure it's gonna be great. So if you guys need any aero, lip kits, fenders, all of that good stuff, I'm gonna leave Battle Arrow down in the description box below for you guys. Get yourself a nice splitter for the track. Ready for the track. Gosh dang, we're building a race car. I appreciate you, dude. We'll let you know how the splitter comes out. But now we gotta go pick up the FK8. We're back. Looks like they wrapped up the Type R. Good to go. Excited to see what our setup is now. Told them that I like the car to rotate and it was feeling good as it is, but they have their own adjustments that they like to make. So I think it should feel super nice now, but I wanna give you guys a little inside look at WR Technica. This thing is actually ridiculous. Dude, this, look at the brick house. Brembo's E88s. Oh my god. Gray's back here and look at the canister. Whoa. On Motons too? Oh my god. I've never I didn't know they could do this. That's really cool. This thing is sick. I wonder if the owner tracks this car. He has to. Oh, it has to. Anybody that usually comes 
them some wheel tracks. Like yeah. Them. Wow, this thing is so rad. This is a good car. For those of you guys that might not know, this is actually Will's GT3 right here. Just getting a quick look at one of the cup cars that Will and the team have been racing. Dude, you guys have been crushing it. Dude, she did amazing for her first season out too. Yeah, this thing is badass, dude. What a dream. How is it driving these cup cars? They're so much fun. It's so raw, you know? Like, yeah. there's, there's not a lot of air on these and super raw. It's so yeah. much fun. I want to check out the interior of this thing. Dude, oh, the yeah. steering wheel was by far my favorite part. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Buckets. This is the uh, this is the goal. This is the dream. Yeah, literally everything comes in here just like that. Really? Except for the, the comfort system, like the chill out yeah, system, yeah. the radios, and you know, comes no from way. the seat, everything already. Straight from Porsche. Yep. Damn, look at the door cards, dude. Look at how light it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is so yeah. sick, man. Always the goal. Yeah. Always yeah. the goal, yeah. man. Well, you remember two years ago, your old shop, and we were just working on the S2K? Oh, dude. Look at you now, man. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> it's been great, man. A racer's dream. It's literally like I'm a kid in a candy shop here, except it's for race cars. If you guys are building a race car, this is the only spot that you should be taking it. As you guys can, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. So how did everything look on the SK8? So much more adjustability in the rear now. Yeah, so we're able to get to uh, the numbers that we're trying to get to. Okay. Yeah, three and a half camber in the front, then we have uh, two point, we went up a little bit more in the rear, look, judging by your tire wear, so it's like yeah. two, 2 2.6 in the rear. Nice. Um, the toe went a little bit less toe in, in the rear, okay. so if you like that rotation, you get just a little bit more. Um, That's what we wanted. Yeah, so the front will have a little bit more bite, a little bit more. We went up about like 0.25 in the caster in the front. Okay. And then towed out a little bit more in the front. So I was telling you guys when we were installing the suspension, every little bit counts. Oh yeah. So, and Will's the guy that knows, so I trust <laughs> you, Will. Thank oh, yeah. you so much. The car is set up. Actually, they actually did a corner balance on the car as well. So they adjusted right height on the car just a little bit and uh, everything should be completely fully dialed in on this. Now we gotta go home and let's get to work on installing this front splitter and that this car is prepped and fully ready to go for Laguna. We have made it back and it's time to finally button up this FK8. To finish everything out, we are gonna mount this freaking thing and this thing can get loaded up. I am so pumped. So if you guys missed our last most recent track day with the FK8, uh, this splitter right here is actually battle arrow and ended up saving my car. So instead of it destroying the bottom of my car, it destroyed the splitter bracket. So that's why we need a new splitter. And not only a new splitter, but we actually got a battle arrow splitter that specifically mounts to this, or what was this bracket. I'm gonna set that down there. And we got a brand new bracket as well. So we're just gonna quickly button all this stuff up and show you guys once it's done. It's very, very simple. It goes together really nicely. But when we did this the first time, Tim, you did have to rivet in holes underneath the car, correct? Uh, yeah, right behind the front bumper. Yes. So we so will show- should still be there. Yeah, we will show you guys that. I don't want to film this whole process over again, but uh, if you guys want any of this stuff for your car, I'm gonna leave Battle Arrow down in the description box below. Ah, yes, right here. All right, good to go on our front splitter mount. It's not tightened down yet because we still have to adjust the splitter itself. But before we actually put the splitter up there and mock it up, I wanted to go ahead and get a fresh oil change in. So we went ahead, drained the old oil, and then we're gonna, of course, fill it up with some VR1. Am I gonna, am I gonna no funnel this? Oh, oh that was <laughs> damn it. God, we got a race car, Tim. I really like the design and the fit of this. Yeah, this is actually sick. This is super nice. This is what we needed. So it's not 
Well, I was about to tell him. I was about to tell him. It's got to resist the urge to stand on this. It's not mounted yet. What we got to do is put our front bumper on. So that way, this thing is completely modular. So you can fit this however you want. It goes up, down, side to side, whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and put the front bumper on, see how snug we can get this thing. And uh, then we'll be able to mount her all up and she'll be fully chassis mounted. Look at this effing race car. This is freaking sick. This is what we needed. Boots in the Type R. As you guys can see, the splitter is now completely chassis mounted to the front of this car. Dang race car, baby. I am so freaking pumped for this. The final piece of our puzzle has finally come together. You ready for this? It passes the step check. Now, Splitter is fully, completely chassis mounted, ready for all the downforce, and the Type R is ready to go to Laguna. Like I told you guys in the last video, we really do want to focus on motorsports, and we're not stopping with the front splitter today, Tim. We're going full send with the FK8 here. Look at this. Something that Tim and I have been wanting for so long, which will just also help me and Tim both have peace of mind. Check this out. We have comms in the car now. Look at Tim, bro. Look at Mr. Crew I'm Chief ready. Official. Mr. Crew Chief is ready. <laughs> I can't hear anything right now. So we actually have comms going into the Type R so I can let Tim know if my car feels wonky, if my tire pressures feel weird, or if Tim's like, all right, Dustin, you're an idiot. Come back in the pits. We have all that information now. Tim kind of had to guess when I was going to pull into the pits or if I would pull into the pits, I would have to hope that Tim's there. Now we can for sure know exactly what's going on. If something's going on on the track that I can't see, Tim can let me know. Endless possible possibilities and what we really needed. So what this does is I press this button and I have a mic and headphones linked up to my helmet here. Press this button, my comms go straight to Tim. Tim puts on the crew chief headset there, put her on. I gotta get the full effect here. Put her all the way on. Uh, let me. Yep, put the radio. The radio in nice. the pocket right here. <laughs> nice. This, oh, I'm still used to this. Yep, you really look the part. Nice. Crew chief dad here. <laughs> crew chief dad in order. So I press this button here, my comms go to Tim. Tim hears it through those really cool crew chief headphones there. He has a button on the back of those where his comms come to me. Dude, we're we are to set. Go. We're, we're legit. We are really, we're figuring it out. We, step by step. We've needed this for about two and a half years now. <laughs> and it is gonna help a lot. It'll give me peace of mind as well when I'm driving too. So we're just incrementally setting this car up better and better. Now I was gonna button up the front of the car, but to be completely honest with you guys, I do not have the brain power left for that today. I am so exhausted. These last few weeks and more specifically, last few days have been exhausting and we've got the bulk of everything that we need complete. So tomorrow we're actually gonna be loading this car up into the trailer and we'll put the front bumper on everything and finish this video when we're loading the car up to head to our seven hour road trip to Laguna Seca, which I am freaking pumped for. We're set and ready to freaking go. And we got comms baby comms we got to figure out a way to like set the comms up to record to the mic code names. <laughs> we do need code names let us know in the comments what you think our code names should be for the upcoming track weekend we got to figure out some way to like record the comms so we can overlay into the video that would be great but anyways uh yeah today is a very successful day we'll see you guys tomorrow for loading the car up today was a massive success see you guys in the morning just in case you guys were wondering just how serious this man takes what he's doing. This man's is literally on the track on the sim right now for Laguna. Push, 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 push. There it is. Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Track supports here for another lovely grid life weekend. This is how you know it's grid life weekend, baby. So we are getting the car loaded up. Look how everyone's really nice and exhausted. Get away from me. <laughs> We're ready to go. What time is it? It is seven o'clock. So when do we leave? 5 30 6 o'clock so about you know like 10 hours and we go yeah all right let's get we just finished the car freshly finished the car hey did we check the oil mm, we'll do it at the track gotta check the oil <laughs>
We're getting the car. We got yep. the splitter on, front <laughs> bumpers on. It looks fantastic. We're ready to go racing. Tell everybody about your hat. We're ready to go racing. This is my bucket for Grid Life exclusively. <laughs> Look at this, guys! Oh! Great Live Laguna, baby, here we come. Well, you know, we still gotta do this. Huh. It's officially Great Life time. I think this is also a good time to end today's video. So, if you've stayed this long, thank you guys for bearing with us. Type R is officially ready to race the Laguna Seca. Probably one of everybody's bucket list tracks. This is gonna be such a fun weekend and we get an entire weekend decibel free with the FK8. So, this is gonna be an amazing weekend. I'm excited to take you guys along. Thank you to Advanced Auto and Valvoline for having me out. We're gonna go ahead and end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for our amazing Grid Life weekend to see how the FK8 does. We're gonna be underpowered. We're gonna be underclassed, but you know what? We're gonna give them hell. And now you're rambling. Yep. <laughs> Uh, th thank you for that. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. What should they comment? Give them hell. Hashtag give them hell. Give them hell. Hashtag give them hell. And we'll see you guys for the next one. Hit that subscribe button as well. Peace.